dust my ears this evening. What is this? Are we playing some sepulchre of the sinister? Why would we be doing that? Oh my god, it's it's text. Uh, yeah. Your assignment today is to read this text. I can read it, of course. I'm just, you know, you gotta do some work too as well, pal, in this let's play for lazy people where you don't gotta do any work at all. Oh, it's a loadout screen. Well, okay. That. I'll, I'll get uh, I'll get this. I'll get this. And I'll get this. And I'll get this. I'll get the... That was not an inauspicious start. Ho, <laughs> ho, ho, you may wonder. Fen, why are you playing this mission again? Well... It's because, well, <laughs> let me back up and explain. Back in 2013 or 2012 or whatever year of God knowing what frickin' year it is, because you need to be pretty omnipotent and omnipresent and rodent-like to know which of those years is which, because Jesus Christ, man, is who you gotta be. Still no hurt when you go against the wall. How disappointing. <laughs> uh, okay, so... This mission is the second in a series, sort of, starting with the Mystery Man. And I played that one a long time ago, and I played this one a long time ago, right? But back when I was trying to be like, oh! Oh, yeah, but, uh, by the order of the hammer, the cemetery has been sealed only, though only with the special blessing of Brother Osma. May any hammer I'd enter this shrine just for... But anyways, uh, that's, that's not important thing. And now back to the important, rambling, incoherent, super on-point fan stuff. Okay. Oh, so back in the day, I was trying to get rid of copyrighted stuff off my main channel and put it on Fen Alternate, which seemed like an amazing idea at the time. I don't know why I would ever think it's totally anything less than genius. And when I was moving this series over, in the process of downloading the video, I guess, it got screwed up in one of the episodes. Uh, might have been the second last or the last or something. So one of the videos in the series is just the previous video in the series duplicated, so we've lost one. So anyone that watches this series gets trolled up the backside all the time. And, uh, it's quite the unfortunate shame. So I thought, well, maybe I'll replay it because one person asked me to and every once in a while I obey. I'm a fickle force, just like the universe, man. Ah, uh, science. Because there's science the method and science the pretend deity whose name is science. Actual real science, so like, honestly. Wow, that was irrelevant. Anyways, I don't remember everything. I remember only bits and pieces. Such as, well, I don't remember that guy, but, you know, hey, I guess barging through the front door of a cathedral, it sounds like a grand plan. But is it? Is it a grand plan? Only empiricism will tell us, which, you know, sounds suspiciously like I myself am now, but I love these patterns on the floor. I wonder if I said that before. Anyways, I don't know. I'll link, I'll link Mystery Man in the description in case you want to watch that again. You know, I'm not going to replay that, so if you want to watch the prequel to this, you have to be punished by watching an old video where I'm like, Hey guys, name's Finn playing the Mystery Man, so, um, let's, uh, let's, let's get to it. <laughs> uh, I've got a really good mic, and there's a Bad guy. Oh, where's the book? Uh, uh, where's, where's, oh, there's the secret. Mm. I like this secret. It, it's a good ice place. Etc. Uh, then you can go watch that. I guess I'll also link the original Sepulchre series as far as it exists in the description so you can get trolled if you want to get trolled. Oh, crap, son. Etc. And otherwise, well. It's happy time in the forest glade. Oh, I don't remember this. Is this a generator room down here? See, I'm like already forgetting stuff, sort of. I am similar to already forgetting stuff. Wait. Oh, it's a sleepy thing that seems to be tilted, but it could just be my perspective, because perspectives are different. We're going beyond physicalism, beyond innuendo, beyond material goods, and straight into shit that works. Awesome. So in the realm of shit that works. I should probably stop saying shit that works. Shit that works, shit that works, shit that works. What are you even gonna do about it, advertisers? Like I care, hey, you. Oh, I saved like right in his face. That was an amazing idea. <laughs> you know, just trying to make it harder for myself to okay. Is that like the space bar? Because that's a key you can press while playing the fan mission called The Tower. 
<laughs> that, that was so awkward as to not be hilarious in any way. And also, I guess it was my perspective that was different because this room is not slanted in any way. I hope this isn't exactly what I've said before. Oh, really? Well, that's what I hope. Well, okay, it was a piece of loot and a fish man who speaks like a zombie. Medium to important takes the player out of the game. Oh, wait, you know what? Do I have, like, yeah, I've got the Earth Ward, which I guess I got from the Music Man or the Mystery Man or something. I, like I know. Oh, it's a tower key. You know what? Screw that door. I'm gonna leave that door with... with round spherical shapes of a blue nature. Ugh. And, uh, you know, kind of go over here. Hey, guys, I'm one of those filthy people on YouTube now. I decided to do that in the total knowledge that it would make me so much better than I ever was. Tr tower door operation. Should rain or snow, come forth! Use the emergency switch at the top to shut the trap doors. Oh, come forth. It comes forth, does it? Oh, well, isn't that lovely? Oh, those footstep sounds are just so full feature -ed. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That switch did something weird and maybe didn't do anything. Hang on. I, I think I might remember. I think I might remember these switches foggily, but what do they do? Also, I remember getting onto that roof and reading about, well, I guess I won't spoil it in case you haven't spoiled it. You know what I mean? Or, or do you? Like, does that raise the drawbridge or something? What does that do? Maybe I should read about it. Oh, that sounds like... Oh, right, it's just the trap doors. You see, I was just messing with you guys. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot that, but what trap doors, though? Like, what are you talking about? There... There ain't no trap doors here that I can... Oh, oh it, it goes up a level, does it? Well, that's... Oh. <laughs> it just kind of... Pops into place. Well, that makes more sense than... And I guess that is, like, doing it from the other side. Oh, hey, hey, yeah, that's pretty cool. Guess it's gotta be quick if rain or snow comes forth then. Ooh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yes, hey. Brother Osma, please tell the new acolytes to stop taffing around. I caught some of them the other day taking speed potions from the tower chests and trying to jump on the roof. One of those fools slipped and fell off. The taffer was lucky he only broke his leg. Let us teach these acolytes a lesson. We don't want any more accidents around here. <laughs> Brother Harold. Yes, well, I could see, you know, whatever the hell that is over there. Some sort of rock, perhaps. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. To... <laughs> of course, new mantling, which I forgot to turn off, would undoubtedly help. You know, I don't think I will turn it off. Oh, 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 oh. wait a minute. Wait a minute. I thought I remembered getting in through here. Hang on, how come this is here if I can't do nothing with it? No, for serious, man. How do I... How do I get off without dead? That's strange. I wonder... Oh, I guess I jump in the river? Okie doke! Oh! <laughs> ah, right, let's see if there's anything up the other end. Oh, boy, yes, there is. Well, theoretically, anyway, but not in actual practice. That's the trouble with theory. Well, that thing on the roof was strange, but anyways, well, let's just forget all... I have a pinched nerve, and I cannot but must scream. The sequel to I Have No Mouth But I Must Scream. Not as popular, but hey, what sequel is? Terminator 2 was a total flop, so I think we can all learn a lesson from that. Oh. Right, well, hopefully this one will take me upwards. It almost took me nowhere at all. Boy, howdy, that sure would have been a Stetson. Oh, you know what? I think I'm remembering that. There's one thing I remember about this mission is that there's a particular book that is a thing. But, well, before I go and read that book, let's kind of take a look at what goes on in the stand tall before the builder room. Well, there's a dead guy on a cross. Not symbolic, of course. It's just a dead guy on a cross. And there's Brother Osma. Oops. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe this is the book I'm remembering then. Hell. I don't know. Sure are a lot of brothers around here. 
What is this Shadow Warrior 2013 version? Oh, 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 oh. Play the game and have someone make a comment that is literally a lie. So they have no reason to be upset, but I guess they just like being angry. That's a pretty good idea. This this is why. Oh. You are you like a dude? Not quite. Jeez. I'm oh man, another book. Okay, which which of these books is the more thing shaped of of them? I don't know, maybe that one? The Journal of Brother Osma. Initial work has begun on the reconstruction of this old trapper. It is in fairly good shape, yet still requires quite a few repairs. Our records indicate that the last Hammerite activity here was a very long time ago. Two very famous Hammerites, Brother Shaga and Brother Rastaban, pretty sure I made some sort of joke about that before, but it's not gonna happen again, was stationed here back then. Brother Shaga was a master blacksmith, while Brother Rastaban was well known for his ability to contain evil spirits and the undead. We are slowly making progress with the repairs. Thankfully, we have brought quite a few acolytes here with us. Among them, Armagoth and Alexei seem the most interested in restoring the chapel and uncovering its history. There is a very old Hammerite graveyard behind the chapel, yet we haven't had a chance to explore it yet. According to some ancient texts in the library here, there is an ancient sepulchre underneath the graveyard. Its origins are unknown. It was discovered by Brother Rastaban. There used to be an old waterway directly underneath the graveyard that was connected to the sepulchre, but an earthquake has buried it deep underground. We have begun exploring the graveyard and discovered an old Hammerite tomb. I am troubled by this discovery. There is an evil aura emanating from deep within the tomb. We will have to be very careful from here on in. Archpriest Goladus will be joining us soon. I am certain that he will be able to appease the evil spirits. This is a disaster! Archpriest Goladus and a dozen Hammerites went in the tomb to fight off the undead when all of a sudden an earthquake tore open the ground beneath them. Only three Hammerites managed to escape the tomb. I went to investigate, and it appears that they have fallen into the old waterway connected to the ancient sepulchre. This is horrible. I am certain that they are still alive, yet I am not sure if there is a way out. Excuse me while I drink some more of my Pepsi. That was not as funny as it sounded in my head. There is nothing we can do without risking the lives of more of our brothers. I have ordered the acolytes to begin repairs to the tomb. I don't want any more accidents to happen. I am praying for the safety of Archpriest Goladus and our fellow brothers. There must be a way out of there. More bad news. A week after the incident in the tomb, Brother Harold's daughter Rydia suddenly passed away. She had been sick for quite a while. Her condition was unknown. It looked like she was feeling better when we arrived here. We buried her in an unused room in the tomb beneath the graveyard. Brother Harold refuses to leave her side. He left me no choice. The evil aura has grown stronger since the incident. I sealed him in Rydia's tomb. Build or grant him strength. We are done here. We will finish the repairs to the chapel and be on our way. I fear that our continued presence here will bring us nothing but bad luck. The repairs have been completed to the tomb, but there is still an opening that leads to the waterway which remains to be sealed. The evil aura is growing stronger. I can feel it inside the chapel now. I have sealed the tomb with a special earth ward and locked the gates to the graveyard. Before sealing the tomb, we prepared a special sarcophagus in memory of Archpriest Goladus. Even though it has been over a week, I am still praying that he will turn up unharmed. Nothing is going well of late. I can't find the earth ward. Last I remember, I left it on the table in my room. On top of that, the evil aura continues to grow every day. Curse this chapel. We should have never come here. This is the end. The Hamrites are starting to hear voices. An extremely powerful evil spirit is approaching. There is no escape for us. It is only a matter of time before it breaks free. The only thing I can do is lock myself in my room with the key to the graveyard. May the builder have mercy on our souls. <laughs> Well, you know, that all depends if you buy one of his magazine subscriptions. Because if you don't, you are going to heck blorble, mate. All right, well, that was a book. Now let's see what this is. A teacup, perhaps? Oh, love is in the air somehow. Yeah. 
Well, the Journal of Brother Herald. We have been given the task of restoring this ancient Hammerite chapel. It seems that there are also several famous Hammerites buried in a nearby cemetery. We have not explored it yet. Brother Ozma is in charge of this expedition, and he insists that our first priority is to repair the chapel. The acolytes have restored a room for him on the second floor, while the rest of us have taken residence in the basement. While the acolytes busy themselves with the repairs, me and Brother Ozma will begin exploring the graveyard behind the chapel. The other Hammerites have been tasked with guard duty. There may still be some undead lurking about. We have discovered an old Hammerite tomb underneath the graveyard. Brother Ozma seems concerned and insists that going forward I stay behind and assist the acolytes with the repairs. Thankfully, none of the books in the chapel library were damaged. Some of them are empty, yet most of them contain the details of the construction of the chapel, as well as various Hammerite scriptures. One of them states that an ancient sepulcher was discovered underneath the graveyard behind the chapel. There was an old waterway beneath the graveyard that was connected to it. We don't have to worry about it, since an earthquake pushed it deep underground a long time ago. The last record here indicates that Brother Rastaban, Brother Sharga, and a full regiment of Hammerites left to explore the sepulchre. Unfortunately, I can't find any records that indicate what became of the Hammerites that were stationed here back when the chapel was initially built. Could this be linked to that mysterious sepulchre that was discovered? I will continue my research and share any findings I discover with Brother Osma. There must be a record in here with some kind of explanation. No, I don't think that's a fair uh, thing to assume at all. I guess... Hey... Oh, is this that thing in the roof? Well, great. It really seems like you could come down in here, but I guess not. Okay. Curses! I dropped my coin purse on the roof before I slipped and broke my leg. The door here is stuck and won't open. How am I going to get on the roof now? If I close the shutters in the towers, I didn't need to use speed potions to jump on the roof. There's no way I can jump there in my present condition. I suppose I will have to wait until my leg heals and then jump on the roof again. If you close the shutters in the towers, you didn't need... Why would closing them... Opening them, maybe, but... Oh, well. I don't know, man. Anyways. Yeah, not fear at all. Because you can have what you desire. All you gotta do is jump. One time for yes and two for no. Bloody thief jump that I can't judge. Pa. Wait a minute. Where's... Where's the down? Oh, there it is. There's the down. Fortunately, I don't seem to be being heard. So I think I remember something about the graveyard, like that's the super mega pro- Well, obviously it is, but you know what I'm You don't know what I'm saying. I'm just repeating things. But, I mean, this chapel exists, and I guess that, that doesn't, though. That door. Yeah, I love the gear icon. Fairly heretical, but then, you know, hey, what do I care? I'm a thief. And hereticacy is what I'm all about. Okay, thank God it ain't marble. This guy is a respectable fellow who uses and does not abuse. Because using things on your abs is probably the worst thing you can possibly do. Whoa! Alright, 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 alright. Don't flip the heck out. Just stealing your big fat hammer. Come on. Also, it's the good old thief gold one style dolphin foot models. Dolphin foot. Don't you just love it? Well, I... Aside from this weird-ass door that doesn't really exist, I guess that's it for the chapel. So let's... Mosey. Oh, yeah. Unless, of course, I can get into that place some other way, or maybe something will happen later. I really don't remember, to be perfectly honest. So let's just forget about it. Oh, yeah. Wait. Oh, ho, ho, the keys don't go together. Darn it to heck. <laughs> Darn it to heck. Oh, wait a minute. Some memories are flooding back to me about areas just like all of a sudden for some reason. Oh, man. This. Well, you can't reach down and grab it. You gotta actually <laughs> force you to do that. Grr, I'm mad. I'm a gangster. No, I'm not. But hey, it's about time to end the video, probably. But I just want to sort of explore around here, because this is not quite what I'm remembering. Oh, go away. For honest now. 
Come on, why? Uh, hmm. Wait a minute. A torch and a strange light. What? Oh, this this is it. Welp. That must have moved something. Let me see. Oh. Yeah. Well, next time I'll go down there. So see you guys then. Bye for now.